What does the Bible tell us about following our dreams? I'm sure many of you have had dreams, ambitions, aspirations, where those around you made you feel as if you shouldn't share it. They almost look down upon you or keep you from that dream or even grew a level of animosity towards you because of your ambition. Well, that's nothing new. I mean, it's literally as old as the Bible. What do I mean by that? In the book of Genesis, there's a story of Joseph where he wakes up and has this beautiful dream and he wants to share it. He shares it with his brother, he shares it with his father. And his brothers, once they heard his dream, when he talked about the stars bowing down to him, grew a level of hatred towards Joseph. Why? Because they were envious and they couldn't believe that one day he thought they would bow down to him, that he would be placed above them. They hated him so much they ended up selling him to slavery where he was then a slave in Egypt and he was then underneath the Pharaoh and essentially left for dead. What does this mean to you? Well, throughout this story and it ended up that Joseph did ultimately get to the point where his brothers had to bow down to him. The worst thing that could have ever happened to him ended up being one of the best things that ever happened to him. Where he ended up ruling all of Egypt. There was a famine that came where his brothers had to seek out food and in doing so they had to bow down to their brother that they didn't know was Joseph because they they thought he may have died, they sold him into slavery, but they had to bow down to him to get rations of food and ultimately Joseph's dream came true. So why am I sharing this with you and why is it important? Oftentimes, your people, you, God's going to give you a dream and it's going to be bigger than most of those around you. They can't even really conceptualize what it is that you're seeking, why you work so hard, and they grow a level of animosity towards you or envy. Why do you work so hard? Why are you doing the things that they do? Maybe they shun you or put you down when you share the dreams that you have and aspirations you have for your life. And sometimes it's even those closest to you, like siblings, family, friends. And even if that's the case, you must still pursue and you must still know and have unrelying faith that God gave you that dream for a reason. And if God gives you a dream, it is yours to conquer. Many of you have dealt with this, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether you're a business owner, aspiring business owner, where you have ambitions far beyond many of those who surround you. They may wanna keep you down, they may wanna share things with you that prevent you from wanting to move forward, or they just disown you or envy you for the dreams and aspirations that you have. If there's one thing that this story shares is that if God gives you a dream, it is yours. Yours to conquer, yours to pursue, and no matter who, no one can keep you from that dream besides yourself. I, I found this to be a really insightful story, especially for someone who's ambitious themselves. And I work with a lot of entrepreneurs and I can only imagine as one of the biggest things they share is a lot of people don't get them or understand them. And so I just wanna share with you if you've ever dealt with this, it's as old as the Bible when it comes to human nature, envy and ambitions, but it is up to you for the dreams and the visions you have in your head. It is for you to pursue. God gave them to you for, your, for a reason and nothing, no one can keep you from that besides yourself. And so if you are a business owner who ultimately feels sometimes alone, that you're a big thinker, you have big dreams, but maybe you're not surrounded by other big thinkers or people who are just as ambitious, click the link below, book a call with me. would love to learn more about you and your business and see if what we're doing at Bet David Consulting with global community of entrepreneurs from around the world makes sense for you.